1220 KHTS hometownstation.com. In the studio with me right now, I have a woman who's here to talk about a brand new facility that is coming to Santa Clarita. Now, while the facility is new, their reputation is not. And you're going to hear all about that. Hello, Margie Vies. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, T? I am fine. So Oakmont of Santa Clarita, by the way, that is also the website, oakmontofsantaclarita.com. Uh, this is a new facility to Santa Clarita, but there's a long there's a history with what, what with what Oakmont is. Tell me a little bit about that. Oakmont is um, a family-owned company. Their home office is located in Santa Rosa, California, and um, Bill and Cindy Gallagher are the owners. They started building custom homes um, many, many years ago and slowly got into the idea of building assisted livings and senior communities. Oakmont of Santa Clarita is going to be the 19th um, Oakmont. It's owned and managed by Oakmont Senior Living. Now, what makes them a little bit different maybe from other senior living facilities? Tell me what's available, what's there, what, what can we expect if we, if we have mom or dad or grandma or grandpa and we're, we're, we're looking into this. Tell, tell me a little about what to expect from Oakmont. You can expect the best. Um, so Oakmont of Santa Clarita is going to be 80 apartment homes on about seven acres of land. We're located on Newhall Ranch Road just off the five between the five and Copper Hill and we have just sweeping views of the valley and of Magic Mountain. Um, it's been really fun to see all the excitement at Magic Mountain with the Twisted Colossus. Um, <laughs> yes, which I keep saying sounds a little like a medical thing, so <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Not going on it. Yes. Um, so we're going to have 80 apartment homes. We will have assisted living, and we'll also have some memory care. But a senior that no longer wants to live at home or wants to just be catered to, they can live at Oakmont. They just won't require care. So we're going to have a wide range um, of residents that are going to be living there. We're going to have pet parks and walking gardens and walking paths. And um, we're hoping to plant some lemon trees and some orange trees. Um, a pet park. We're going to be very pet friendly. This um, is very nice because it's home. It's it not like home. you're going someplace and you're you're going to be giving up your home. Now, is it also a progressive facil facility? If you come in and you've got your own place, you have your pet, and you're fully f capable of you know taking care of of everything, and then maybe you you realize you you might need a, l a little extra help, and you can reach out and make those those options available to residents. Is Absolutely, it and the nicest thing. About about it, T, is that you won't have to move. So you'll move into your apartment, you'll have your Because that's devastating. Puppy. Devastating. That is your home. And what will happen is we will have a nurse on duty um, about 16 hours a day. So they'll be kind of monitoring the wellness of your loved one. And if we start to see signs, you know, maybe somebody's not eating enough or somebody's falling, we can... Um, you can interact intervene with the family. and say something. We can intervene. And then if you need some care, if you need help managing your medications or taking a shower or getting around, we're going to have staff on site that is specifically trained um, with compassion and patience to do that. I have to believe in so many ways that's better than in, in some cases being at home because in addition to families having busy lives and I got to tell you I don't always have my patient's pants on when I have to deal with things it takes me a moment to okay I need to catch my breath I need to I, you're, it's not like it's my my go-to when when things are happening and the other thing is I've noticed with my own family members they don't like admitting when they need help to one of us they might reach out to someone else so what a wonderful thing that your staff is there trained and you have that background now you yourself this you're not Oakmont is new to Santa Clarita. The The idea of what Oakmont is is not new, and th it's not new to you, is it? You've had a, you have a history in, in, this, in this area. Yes, I have a long history. Um, I ran um, an assisted living out in Santa Clarita for 14 years. Um, my parents lived in assisted living, and my background, I'm a physical therapist, so that's how I was first introduced to it many, many years ago. Um, I would do home health um, at some of the assisted livings and boarding cares. So that's what kind of piqued my interest, and um, I have found my passion, and to think that I'm lucky enough to have found it in my backyard and in my community where I can give back and 
take care of my seniors in Santa Clarita. Um, I'm one lucky lady. I love that. Can you tell me a little bit, because I'm not familiar and perhaps someone listening, uh, what memory uh, memory care program is? Mm-hmm. Can you walk me through that? Sure. Um, a memory care would be for somebody that has either um, a diagnosis of Alzheimer's or dementia, where they need a little bit more structure. They're might need a little bit more care. So Oakmont has a program that's called Traditions. Um, It's going to be located within our main building. The residents will have um, activities that are suited to them. They will have meal time in a in a way that they feel that they have dignity and and it's a restaurant feel but if they need assistance or sometimes they need um, a special utensil or you know what they might even need to use their hands but it can be done so so that they don't lose that dignity and that they can still enjoy the socialization of a meal time just like you or I would so um, there'll be a little additional staffing there um, and the staff is specifically trained to deal with dementia and Alzheimer's because it takes a very special person to work with that diagnosis. It can be very trying. I love that the idea that this is pretty much one-stop shopping, and I have to believe you said you have how many uh, units? <laughs> we have 80 units. They're going to fill up fast. And they are. It's it's amazing that even our sign isn't even out yet, and we're we're pre-leasing our, our rooms. It's That's it's wonderful. I there's can, a need. There's a, there's a great need, and there's much talk about the silver tsunami, what is about to happen here in the United States, and we need more and more right. places for, for, for people as we we need, and we don't, if the, if the need were, I mean, as it is, you, you guys are going to be swamped, so we'll need more places, and I wish Oakmont all the success, and you also. Oakmont of Santa Clarita is taking reservations and giving private tours and I as I say I think you're going to fill up fast if you would like more information Oakmont of Santa Clarita.com. If you'd like more information, you can learn about who they are, the care services that are available, the traditions, memory care. There's there's an awful lot of information and news and articles so you can learn more about who Oakmont is and where they've been and who they are, are about to be in the community of Santa Clarita. Margie Vies, thank you so much for being here today. It was a pleasure to talk to you. And again, I, I look forward to hearing great things about Oakmont. And I believe we'll see you uh, soon, right? You'll be back. Yes, I'll be back. Thank Thank you, you, T. You're so welcome.